Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be talking about how to install bad update with the updated third stage. Um, I have this pre-set up for you already. If you already know how to do this, I highly recommend, you know, following another tutorial that's out of date or whatever. And then just adding the file in yourself. Um, I will drop a good tutorial for how to do that. But if you just want to download a zip, pop some files into on your USB and then be good to go, this tutorial is for you. All right, first thing you want to do is plug your USB into the Xbox and you are going to want to format it using the Xbox. It's very important, um, but you don't just use Windows or whatever. All right, now on the Xbox, you just want to format the USB. And now you want to go, you want to plug the USB into your computer and I will meet you over there. Alrighty, so I'm on my computer now. This is the USB. I will, prov I will provide a zip file right here um, with all the files in it. And uh, with all these files in it, uh, basically what this does is the only options, um, the only thing I've changed here is I put all the files on a USB. Um, there's like a media update for the Xbox. Um, this is just my USB, so I use this. Um, anyway. I, with my some of my you know the Aurora config deleted and stuff. All right. So anyway, point is uh, basically this is all it is is Aurora Aurora dashboard, and it is set up in the launch dot any. Um, I have to actually extract it to do that. We'll just open the other one. All right. So all this is here is this is the launch dot any file. Um, it is set to here uh, default. It is set to boot straight into Aurora right here you can change this to whatever dashboard you want and it is set here to use the Nova plugin so that temperature monitoring and all that stuff works those are the main changes those are like the only changes I made I think um, yeah and of course the updated third stage dot bin so just extract this that's it And then just put all of the files onto the USB. It's about 430 megabytes, so it shouldn't take that long. Alrighty, so now that all those files are moved over, we have to just unplug it from the computer and plug it into the Xbox, which was on already. I don't think that matters. Alrighty, so now that you are on to the Xbox, you go into the game, my game section, and you will see Rock Band Blitz. Just launch that. Um, this may crash the first time you do it. Hopefully it won't, but it does crash a lot. It's definitely not perfect by any means. This new update, though, does make it a lot better, but still not perfect. This will still take a while. Um, yeah. Once you just get in, just press A to start, and you'll see it do that with the lights. Oh, yep, there goes. Wow, that was that was it. Okay then. Uh, normally it is not that fast. Um, I got lucky there. It knew I was filming. Decided to be nice, I guess. All right, all you want to do is press the back key to exit, and it will sign you out. Yep, it does that, I guess. And, uh, okay, that's weird how it didn't put me into Aurora. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll fix that. Don't worry. Well, we are updated now. As you can see, we have XEX menu. Um, yep. I'm not sure why it didn't dump me into Aurora. I'm gonna have to fix that. Let's see if I just go into apps, Aurora. It's... Oh, it's probably because the file name is incorrect. Yeah, I think it's just the name is incorrect or whatever uh, in the launch.ini. I'm going to fix that uh, so you won't have that problem. Um, not sure why that happened. Oh, yeah, I know why it happened because I replaced all the files in Aurora so it would be fresh for you guys. Um, but I must have changed the file name to... Yeah. It was a while ago. Uh, anyway... It'll take a while on the first boot. All right, I fixed that problem for you guys. All right, so if um, there's one more thing I forgot to mention, you gotta download the tools from Bad Update. I will put that link in the description. 
Um, and then you want to run this command. You do want to re remove the quotes and just put your file name in there. C, um, not CD, this isn't Linux. Uh, but open, open the folder, open a command prompt in the same folder as zpatcher and then run this command and um, put your file name there without any quotes. Alrighty, um, as you can see, Aurora is opened successfully. Um, that is it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs>